it's a pleasant day to everyone i hope you are all doing great and for this week's learning session we are going to talk about the food and culture of usa or the united states of america and uh, the u.s uh, geographically speaking is below the second largest country in the world which is canada right so the population of USA is 329 million, so a little less than 330 million. The capital city is Washington, D.C. And the land area is 9,826,675 square kilometers. And the United States is composed of 50 states that include Alaska and Hawaii. And for this discussion, we are going to divide, or rather the U.S. will be divided into six regions. Let's start first with the Mid-Atlantic. And the Mid-Atlantic is composed of the following states. As you can see in the map, the Mid-Atlantic is found in the eastern side of the United States, and it is it is within the North Atlantic Ocean. The Mid-Atlantic is considered a heavily urbanized and industrial region because uh, one reason is that New York is part of the Mid-Atlantic and we all know that New York City is considered the world's capital or uh, the city that never sleeps. And because of... Uh, a lot of people uh, are going to New York to pursue their dreams. A lot of immigrants are there. It has a remarkable ethnic and religious diversity because of uh, immigration. And New York City is considered a uh, food hotspot because of the different mix of different ethnicity and cultural origin. And it has a very cosmopolitan character. And uh, other states in Mid-Atlantic, so you have uh, New Jersey. It is renowned for its corn and tomatoes and also zucchini and pepper. And the famous potato chips is believed to have been invented in Saratoga, New York. Right, so that is one of the famous foodstuff of the United States, which is potato chips. The Mid-Atlantic is also a favorite among the different seafood enthusiasts because of its uh, abundance when it comes to seafood. Among those are the Maryland crabs, oysters, and as well as some crops not found in the ocean. So they are also famous with uh, blueberries and also some grape species. Sunflower is also important because they uh, extract oil, seeds, and some edible roots. And that is native to Eastern North America. So you have your oysters here. Then you have your sunflower with its seeds, and then you have your sunflower oil. And uh, as I was telling a while ago, New York, right, it is the most famous city uh, in the United States because of so many factors and because also of its history. The New York was named New Amsterdam before because uh, it was uh, formerly a colony of the Dutch people, right? So the Dutch people, they, they come from the Netherlands and the capital of the Netherlands is Amsterdam. So when they went to New York, which is a port, 
it's a very strategic location. So when they settled in New York, they named it as New Amsterdam. All right? It was just in 1674 when the city and the region kept the name New York. All right? That is when the English, okay, ousted the Dutch and therefore they named it as New York. But the most important event of the 19th century was the massive influx of immigrants coming from primarily Eastern and Southern Europe. So there are three major influences on the food habits of New Yorkers. First is because of its geographic location. So New York is a port. It has a um, it has a very state of the art port and as a matter of fact a lot of cruise ships are really including New York City as one of their stops and also because of its long history of immigration so the Dutch are the other or the Dutch people and the English people so they were the ones responsible in bringing in the different crops right such as potatoes cabbage onions and apples now as they move up the hudson valley apples were an important crop because they m make use of apples in different ways they can be sliced dried and they they can also be used for pie and also you can make apple cider which is uh, a liquid out of apples so there are pretty much a lot of things that you can do with apples which is why apple is very famous in the united states and queens the borough of queens it was once the city's milkshake because they ensure a fresh and constant supply of milk now so some of the major food stuff found in new york some iconic foods include bagels right this one is a bagel that is with cream cheese so that's one of the popular food items in new york also uh, pizza or a thin crust pizza which obviously was brought to the u.s by the italians niche and uh, a lot of taco trucks and sushi sushi joints have also become ubiquitous or they are really everywhere in the streets of new york so basically these are western european food and then the famous wheat products such as bread pasta and cereals are also consumed in large quantity so new york is really a melting pot of different cuisine because of its long history of immigration now before i continue i have a trivia question i showed you a picture of a bagel which is this one so the question now is what is the difference between a bagel and a donut so donuts are also famous in the united states so comment down your responses in the comment section what is the difference between a bagel and a donut all right let's continue other major food stuff in uh, mid-atlantic are some convenience products such as sodas fruit juices energy drinks vitamin water which are almost consumed on the go because mm, of course some new yorkers are really busy with their job so they prefer to eat foods on the go and also one of the famous beverages consumed in new york is coffee of course and a lot of new yorkers on their way to the office they really have to go to a starbucks store nearby and grab some coffee and then go to their office beer is also part of the city's heritage which is brought by the Germans and the Czechs, as well as wine. It's also an important part of the thriving restaurant culture in New York. 
Now let's proceed to the next region, which is the Midwest, composed of the following states. All right, it it comprises twelve states, and uh, geographically, the Midwest is a flat prairie land. So it's a flat land, and because of that. It is considered America's food-producing heartland because of the plain, a vast, the vast plain that there is in the Midwest. They can produce a lot of crops. And the Midwest is said to be the land of plain cooking. Why plain cooking? Because of the casserole and white food, meaning mashed potatoes and cream sauces, which is just basically the color of the food, which is why it's called white food. And then major foodstuffs found in the uh, in the Midwest is uh, soybean, right? Illinois, Iowa, and Minnesota. They are the three of those states are really uh, a large grower of soybeans. But uh, ironically, it's not part of the Midwestern diet. So. They produce soy and soy products for export, All right? And Iowa and Illinois are also the top producers of feeds for farm animals. And Iowa, on the other hand, is the nation's premier hog farming land. Okay, so you, you can make a lot of stuffs from soybean. You can make soy milk. You can make soy sauce. You can make soybean curd as well. All right, meat in the Midwest okay, is very important. It is the center of almost all Midwestern meal, such as beef, poultry, pork, and some fish. But the most widely used form is ground beef. That's ground beef. Chicken is also used, but they prefer the breast cut. Turkey, on the other hand, is... A necessity during Christmas and Thanksgiving. Pork, although it has declined in competition with poultry, and, but bacon and ham are staples on a Midwestern meal. Wisconsin is called or tagged as the dairy state because it produces more cheese than any other state. And its citizens are above average cheese eaters. So there are a lot of ice cream stores in Wisconsin. So it's a highly favored dessert in the Midwest. How, uh, how about fruits? They also have fruits. They have sour cherries, cranberries, and peach. Okay, so Midwest is really a, a, an agricultural powerhouse in the United States. Mushroom is also a popular pastime. So they harvest morels and chanterelles. They are all found in the Midwest.